I'm back. Y'all see the title. The Will Smith, Jada Pinkett Smith, and August Alcina situation. I told y'all I was going to talk my shit about it because I had a lot to say. I'm going to give y'all my thoughts on it. Alright, let's get right into it because I don't want to keep y'all too long. But, you know, if y'all want to feel free, if y'all want to chime in on this, if y'all want to give y'all two cents, feel free. Leave a comment or hell, send me a video request and we can talk about it face to face or whatever. Anyway, now, everybody has seen what's been going on lately with um, the Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith marriage now. But, lately, it's been on, it's been a little bit rocky because... August Alcina inserted himself into this, but it's been known for a while that Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith had an um, <clears throat> had an open marriage, which well, which is what a lot of people are using to excuse this or to give us a pass. Which don't worry, I'm gonna get right into this. I'm gonna get into it. But um, anyway, let's start off on a positive note. Now, in years, and one celebrity lost half of what they owned or whatever. So seeing Will Smith and Jada Pinkett together. For 25 plus years, it's a breath of fresh air. Yeah, it's a breath of fresh air. But um, basically, August Alcina, yeah, he came out and said, expressed his feelings to Jada Pinkett Smith. Now, do y'all want to know what got me tight about this whole damn situation? People is trying to paint this picture and try to, you know put this whole narrative together that Jada Pinkett is the bad guy and August Alcina is the victim. And I think it's bullshit because people are like, oh my God, August Alcina, I feel so bad for him because of what he was going through. He lost his sister and he lost his, uh, he lost his cousin and he was battling drug addiction and Jada Pinkett came in on him while he was a vulnerable man and took advantage of him. Really? Is it like, really, y'all believe that? All right. That's bullshit. I mean, I, I, it's bull, and this is the reason why. Because both of them are grown. They are adults. So the thing is, they knew what the hell they were doing. So no, I don't think that Jada Pinkett is in the wrong. I don't think she's the bad guy in this situation. August, now, now the thing is, she, she might have enabled it, but she's not 100% in the wrong. But August, he... Messed up more than anybody else. Because guess what? He broke the code. He did what you should never ever do when you're when you're in his position. You are supposed to shut the hell up and play your position. He broke the number one code of, if you decide peace, you never kiss and tell. Ever. But he couldn't do that. He couldn't keep his feelings under control. I mean, but the thing is, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say this because I've been guilty of it because there's been one or two occasions where I've been the side piece and I caught feeling for a woman who was already in a relationship with another man. Now, every dude, like I ain't going to say every dude, but the majority of men on this planet is capping like hell if y'all say that y'all have not been the side dude or y'all say that y'all have not caught feelings or been in love with a woman who's already spoken for. So, guess what? He's not. But see, the problem is, is that me personally, if I was in that position, I would just take what I'm getting and just go the hell on. Well, all right, for everybody who used to watch wrestling back in the day, what was The Rock's number one catchphrase? His number one catchphrase was know your role and shut your mouth. The thing is, is that dudes be running their damn mouth too much. The thing is, the kissing and telling is what dudes what get, is what gets dudes in trouble. And it's what gets, kissing and telling, it gets females in trouble more than dudes. And the thing is, why is it that when a male kisses and tells, the female is the one who has to suffer for it? That's what I'm talking about. That's the reason why Jada Pinkett Smith is not 100% in the wrong here. I feel like August is more, in that situation, I feel like August is more in the wrong than Jada Pinkett Smith. But now, as far as Will Smith, uh, there's some people who are calling Will Smith a cuck. For people who don't know what a cuck is or a cuckold, it's basically a man who's in a subservient or submissive position to a woman, to a woman he's married or in a relationship with, and he allows the woman that he's in a relationship with to freely sleep with other men. I don't completely agree with that because one, it's an open marriage, like they said it was, and two, I mean, like I'm pretty sure that Will Smith has had his fun too. I mean, come on, on record is go. It, it, he's on record showed that he is. Um, he was messing around with uh, Margot Robbie, one of the co-stars uh, of Suicide Squad, you know, the woman who played Harley Quinn. So, it's not a complete loss because, I mean, if you ask me, 
Um, this is just my personal preference. Margot Robbie is younger and hotter than Jada Pickett Smith is, especially at this point. Because and thing is, like, also I've been in the situation of messing with a cougar lady or a woman who's you know older. Because August Alcina is what twenty seven, twenty eight. And Jada Pinkett is what, 48, 49? She's 20 years older than that man. And she took advantage of him. But like I said, you know, that Cougar Kitty is something different. I'm going to tell y'all right now. I ain't going to go too deep into detail, but I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all that that Cougar Kitty is something different. So if August was out there spilling his guts and he was um, being an R&B diva, I can understand why. And a lot of people was like, well... What the, what is this? What is this whole situation to you? Why do you care? Because like I said this the, situations like this really do happen every single day. But the thing is, the only reason why people care is because, like I said, one, they're celebrities; they've been in the public spotlight for a while, and two, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett's marriage has been in the public eye for almost thirty years. So, yeah, that's something that everybody can take from that. Now, here's the thing: people are like, well. This the thing is, everybody's like, well, Will Will Smith and Jada's marriage is an open marriage, so it does not really count, classify as cheating. But I'm gonna go ahead and ask you guys this, and I want y'all to think real carefully before y'all answer. If an open marriage or an open relationship is to, is what you and your partner agree to, would you rather know that your partner is getting sex from somewhere else, or would you rather keep them keep it in the dark from you? Me personally, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, like, I'm not built like that. I'm not about that life. I mean, because an open marriage, an open relationship, it's not for me. I can't do it. I'm not strong. I ain't built like that. But if I was to be in that position, I would tell my wife or I'll tell my girlfriend, like, look, I know an open relationship is what we agreed to, is you know, what we agreed on that. But if you're gonna go out, if you're gonna step out, then I would rather you just keep it under wraps. I would rather just not know about it, you know. Do your thing, do your little thing if I'm not around. Because let's be let's be real. Because of what because of Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith's schedule with acting and public appearances and taking care of the kids and doing all this other stuff, they really don't have they really didn't have time to be around each other like that. So I could kind of understand with their schedules and with their, their life, I could understand why they'd be in an open marriage or open relationship. But yeah, if it was me, I'd be like, well, if you're gonna do your dirt, I'd rather not know about it. Now, if I was Will Smith. Would I return the favor? If if I knew, if the thing is, whether I knew if we was in an open marriage or open relationship or not, and I was like, well, if my if if I'm not 100% sure if my wife is out there getting some from another dude or not, would I return the favor? Would I step out on my wife? Like I said, you know, you, you can't even really call it stepping out because an open marriage is what they agree to. But what do y'all think? I mean, the thing is, if an open marriage is what y'all agreed on, would you rather know that your partner is getting sex from somewhere else or would you rather them just do their dirt and just not tell you? Like, which one would y'all rather have? Like I said, me personally, I, you know, I said, do, do your dirt in peace. But uh, the only thing I really ask is like, one, you don't catch feelings. Two, you and you use protection so that way you don't catch anything or get pregnant. And three, don't bring his ass back to my damn house. If you're going to do, if you're going to do dirt, do it at their house. Don't do it in my house. That's the, that's the only thing that I would really ask you know, or I, that's the only thing I really ask of. But like I'm saying, I feel like, like I said, I don't really feel like that Jada was in the wrong because an open marriage is what they agreed to in the beginning. But also, remember, an open marriage, an open relationship is a two way street. It's the same as all relationships. If you're gonna dish it out, you better be able to take it. If you're gonna step out, you better get used to your um, your significant other stepping out too. I don't condone that. Like I said, because. Here, the thing is, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm, I, well, I ain't going to wrap this up. I'm going to speak for a little bit more, and then I'm going to let you guys chime in on it. But here's the thing about marriage. Now, marriage, it's a beautiful thing. A long-term relationship is a beautiful thing, especially because it's what a lot of people's relationships build to and toward to. Because everybody, you know, has this idea in their head that marriage is the be-all, end-all. And like I said, you know, do I want to get married? Do I want a long-term relationship? Yes, I do, someday. But see, here's the problem. The problem is, is that people put marriage so much on a pedestal that they end up forcing themselves to be in a relationship. That's why a lot of y'all's relationships don't work out at the beginning because y'all put yourself in a position that you don't really want to be in all because you want to either A, look good at somebody else or B, you want to settle just because you're like, well, society said that I should be married, have kids, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada by this age. So go ahead and just let me do this. But yeah, y'all be finding yourselves in relationships and marriages that y'all don't really want to be in. 
And then y'all wonder why it doesn't work out. But like I was saying, marriages and long-term relationships are beautiful, but you got to keep in mind, marriage is not for everyone. Um, long-term relationships, not for everyone. Um, everybody's like, well, if, you're, if somebody's going to cheat, you might as well be in an open relationship or open marriage. Open marriages, open relationships, it's not for everyone. Being a swinger, you know, you know, just um, dating around, seeing other people, you know, having casual sex or being a hoe, that's not for everybody. You, the thing is, the point I'm trying to make is that whatever your path in life is or whatever you value or whatever you find important, do what works for you. Everybody's like, everybody looks, everybody's like, well, is the reason why Will and Jada lasted this long because they had an open marriage? Because they would get tired of each other from time to time and they step out, but then they realize that what, after they stepped out that all that glitter wasn't gold. And they're like, well, maybe I do got the right thing in my house. But, um, but like I said, for people who want an open relationship or an open marriage, y'all got to read, y'all got to read the fine print. It's not what you think it is. But then again, like I said, you can pretty much apply that to any relationship. You can apply that to a friendship, you know, a friends with benefits, a long-term relationship. You really could apply that to anything. The thing is, everything has got pros and cons. Y'all, but the thing is, when you get yourself, the thing is, you got to know what you're getting yourself into. When you get into a marriage, when you get into a long-term relationship, when you get into anything with uh, somebody who you might be attracted to, whatever, you have to know what you're getting yourself into. You have to know your part. You have to know the person that you're dealing with. But most importantly, you got to know yourself. And the thing is, you got to ask yourself, is what this person brings to the table what I really desire? Is what this person has to offer me what I really want? Because you can feel completely different two years, five years, ten years from now. And then all of a sudden, you wake up one morning and then you realize that you wasted your time with this one because this person, I mean, they made you happy temporarily, but they didn't really give you, they didn't give you what you truly wanted. And that's kind of the one. Re that's kind of one reason why I'm hesitant to be in a marriage or a long term relationship. Because God forbid, I, you know, me and my girl or me and my wife, we sleeping in the same bed together. I'm having the best sleep of my life, and then all of a sudden, she over here tossing the turn and having regrets, wondering what if, what if she didn't say yes to me? What if she would have said yes to Pookie from down the street? What if she wouldn't have just committed to me when I asked her to commit to me, and she just wanted to be a swinger or just you know wanted to play the field, date around and see other people. The last, the last thing I want is for me to be in a relationship. Me being, me, the last thing I want is for me to be the only one comfortable in a relationship and then the woman I'm with to wonder what if. That's the worst. That, that's, I'm telling y'all, that's probably the worst feeling in the world. I, I mean, the thing is, I'm pretty sure that that's happened to me somewhere down the That's probably happened to me in one of my relationships, but that's neither here nor there. I'll tell y'all about that probably in another video some other time. But yeah, only thing that I really have to say is, like, you can't really compare another person's relationship to your own. Marriage, relationship, friends with benefits, otherwise. The only thing I ask is that you just do what works for you. Find your, you know, it's okay to have standards, it's okay to, you know, have a preference, but just find what works for you in the end and just be happy. I mean, hell, you only live once, so you might as well live your life doing what makes you happy. But anyway... I just spoke my piece on this. Y'all let me know what y'all think.